What is going on? It's Metacosis Perfect Natus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our microbiology and infectious diseases playlist. In previous videos, we talked about various types of streptococci. Today, we'll talk about Streptococcus gallolyticus, formerly known as Streptococcus bovis. Bovis from bovine, which means cow. This is my microbiology and infectious diseases playlist. Please watch these videos in order. Streptococcus bovis is a gram-positive coccus that is catalase-negative, gamma-hemolytic, which means no hemolysis. Can it grow in 6.5% salt solution? The answer is no. Why do we call it Streptococcus? Because it is a spherical bacterium that is arranged in chains. Why Gallolyticus? Because it causes hydrolysis of methyl gallate. Why bovis from bovine, which means cows? Because it was first discovered to cause diseases in cows. Later, they discovered it actually causes diseases in humans too. Please pause and review. Streptococcus bovis can lead to endocarditis in humans as well as bacteremia. In patients with GI malignancy, especially colon cancer, inflammatory bowel disease or liver disease. Here is Streptococcus bovis again. Please pause and review. Cow and colon. Streptococcus bovis gram positive, coagulase negative, catalase negative, gamma hemolytic and they look like strep which means chain-like diseases, endocarditis and bacteremia in patients with GI malignancy, colon cancer, liver disease, inflammatory bowel disease. Virulence factors for Streptococcus gallolyticus or Streptococcus bovis. The capsule and something called pill 1 from pillus or pili because it will help it bind to your collagen and colonize your body. It is gram-positive cocci in chains, and as you know, it is group D. How about enterococci? They were group D as well, if you have watched my previous video. How about Streptococcus pyogenes? That's group A. How about Streptococcus egalactiae? That is group B. Diseases caused by Streptococcus bovis. Culture positive endocarditis, which is inflammation of the endocardium of your heart. Bacteremia associated with GI malignancy, colon cancer, inflammatory bowel disease, liver disease. It can also lead to UTIs and biliary tract disease. Everything GI. How can I diagnose it? Gram stain. It is gram positive. Morphology. We have chains of gram positive cocci. You can culture it, especially blood culture. Gamma hemolytic. No hemolysis. Coagulase negative. Catalase negative. You can use biochemical tests for identification to identify the specific carbohydrate or group D for this specific group of bacteria. How can we manage it? Remember endocarditis that was caused by enterococci? How did we treat that? We treated that with a penicillin plus agentamycin or cell wall synthesis inhibitor plus an aminoglycoside. Does anyone remember? Same thing here. The difference is cephalosporins cannot cover enterococci, but they do cover Streptococcus bovis. This is important. Because remember, cephalosporins like ceftriaxone are lame, L-A-M-E. They cannot cover lame. They cannot cover the E, which is enterococcus. But can they cover Streptococcus bovis? Yes, they do. Let's review Streptococcus bovis from Picmonic. Gram positive, here is my angel. Group D, here is the daisy. Catalase negative, here is the negative cat. Can it grow in bile? Yes, just like Enterococcus. But can it grow in 6.5% salt solution? The answer is no. Salt will kill Streptococcus bovis. Diseases include endocarditis. Here is the donut with the heart. There is bacteremia associated with liver disease and colorectal cancer. Also with inflammatory bowel disease. So please pause and review. The most important thing to remember is that it can grow in bile, but it cannot grow in salt solution. Contrast that with enterococcus, which could grow in bile and salt solution. Moreover, the third generation cephalosporin, ceftriaxone, does cover Streptococcus bovis, but it does not cover enterococci.
If you like this video, you will adore my antibiotics course, which has 40 videos about antibacterials, antivirals, antifungals, and antiparasitic medications. You can download it today at medicosisperfectionalis.com. Learn about the red man in the van, vancomycin. Learn about Linda, the Catholic nun, clindamycin. I also have a surgery high yields course and an emergency medicine high yields course with some toxicology topics embedded in the course. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis where medicine makes perfect sense.